this video. Before I'm going to start with this video, yes, I changed my hair. I have bangs or a fringe now. So it's going to be a struggle, but I think it's worth it because I really like it. And I think I look kind of kawaii. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with that. You guys probably know that I have two types of fashion videos on my channel mostly. One is a fashion guide series where I talk about my favorite trends and basics for the upcoming season. And I also have a video that's called how to style where I'm showing you how I style particular items or styles. And I thought why not combine the two a little bit more. I kind of want to continue with only fashion guide videos because I feel like it is kind of a fashion guide because I'm showing you for different ways to style a certain thing. Like the terminology fashion guide was more appropriate for two series. Let me know in the comments below if you like that. This is going to be the first video in the new format and this is going to be my fashion guide to how to style jeans. And I'm going to talk about four different types of jeans because I feel like everybody only does a certain lookbook for, for example, mom jeans or boyfriend jeans or skinny jeans and nobody talks about all of them in one video just about jeans so that's why i wanted to make this guide about four different types of jeans i'm going to feature boyfriend jeans skinny jeans mom jeans and prey jeans so i'm first going to start off giving you a couple of tips on how i find the perfect jean for me then I'm going to explain how I style them. Lastly, there's a lookbook at the end that I mostly filmed in Paris, so it's really nice, if I can say to myself. So yeah, without further ado, let's start. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're excited for this video. Okay guys, these are all of the jeans I'm going to be talking about. But first of all, I'm going to explain to you how I picked all of these jeans and what I find important when choosing jeans. Tip number one, make sure the length of your jeans is right. I feel like everybody immediately goes looking at the fit whenever they're buying jeans. But for me personally, the most important thing about jeans are the length. Every jean looks bad on me if it's too long. So I always have the struggle that all the jeans are not really straight at the bottom. I just have too much fabric on the ends of my jeans. And I think it makes my whole leg look way thicker than it is because I have pretty skinny ankles, but my legs aren't skinny. So I like to accentuate my ankles, but I can't do that if the jeans is too long. For example, I know most people have 30, but tall people have 32, or sometimes there's even a 34, and shorter people have 28. Now my problem is that I'm more towards a 26, which doesn't exist. But luckily I found jeans at River Island. You can buy them, like they have three different lengths. They have regular, short and tall. And the short one is actually short enough for me. So I feel like that's a 26, maybe 27 in length. I'm not sponsored by River Island, but I wish I was because I'm featuring three, well, three out of the four jeans are from River Island because they are short enough for me. Tip number two is make sure you're looking at a good fabric. Personally, I like my skinny jeans to be a little bit more stretchy and thin and I like my uh, more baggy jeans, boyfriend jeans, that type of thing to be more thick and non-stretchy because I feel like they look a little bit more cool on my body. So yeah, it's very important that you go for a good fabric. Tip number three is make sure you look at the texture of the jeans. So I don't like it when jeans are very kind of one color. I like it to have a little bit something interesting going on, like a texture that's visible because that makes your legs look thinner as well. So I always make sure there's a kind of a texture going on in the jeans. Tip number four is that you look at rib placements. So I personally really like ribs not too much not too little because i feel like a good rip kind of breaks up your leg and makes them look thinner as well and yeah maybe for some people that have these amazing skinny legs you're like i don't want my legs to be thinner but uh for me personally my like biggest part of my body like i'm pretty small here but i have more heavy legs so i always make sure that i'm looking for jeans that kind of flatter them and tip number five is that you look for a denim color that you actually like. So for example, I like kind of mid-wash, vintage denim blues, but just make sure you go for one that you actually are going to wear because for example, I never wear gray jeans. So even if they look very pretty on me, I'm not going to buy them just because I don't like gray jeans. 
I really wanted to give you these tips because I feel like they're pretty helpful and I'm very happy with the jeans that I have now and I know buying jeans can be such a struggle so yeah I wanted to help you out with my personal tips and now it's time to go to the how to style part jeans that I'm going to show you are boyfriend jeans. This is a new pair of boyfriend jeans that I got from River Island. So I added this striped top from Wrongly and then I also added this uh, boyfriend coat, boyfriend trench coat from Zara that I got previous winter. So not this winter but previous winter and this one is perfect because it's not too long on me but also not too short and it has a very straight fit but it also looks good if you button it up together because then it's a little bit more fitted and to complete the look i added these cute shoes from sasha they're real leather and they're super nice i have to say oxfords like this can be kind of uncomfortable and they were uncomfortable at i wore them the first time when i was in paris and i got this huge blister that was bleeding and stuff not going to talk too much about it because TMI but after that they became way more comfortable so I would definitely recommend them and I think they're great because they have a little heel and I love everything with a heel I don't like flat shoes so that's perfect really like those for the next look I styled this pair of jeans these are from weekday and it's a brand that I kind of discovered not that long ago so this is a skinny jean but <laughs> i cut it off myself because they were too long for me so i wanted to go for this very basic look that had a very cool coat so i went for this gray turtleneck from uh, H&M. i added this amazing coat from asos i got this coat this winter like it has so many cool details i don't even know where to start First of all, it has rose gold hardware. What I love about this coat is that it has leather, faux leather details, but also fur details, especially on the back. Uh, then for accessories, I went for these Alexander Wang rose gold gaming boots. You know these shoes, guys. I wear them a lot. And to go for the all rose gold theme, I also added this bag from Alexander Wang. This is the Alexander Wang Mini Rocky. jean that I wanted to style is this pair of mom jeans from River Island. Again, River Island, I love them. This mom jean is quite ripped. Uh, with those jeans, I also added a pair of fishnet tights. I really like that look. I think it's quite different and cool and edgy. And I know it's very trendy, but I also like to incorporate trends into my style, but just not too much and only trends that I like. So I definitely really like the fishnet trend. So I wore a pair of fishnet tights underneath it. And then I added this super cute shirt from Brandy Melville that says cute but psycho. And that describes me perfectly. Then I also added my Gucci Dionysus bag, which I love. It's definitely my favorite bag ever. To make this outfit a little bit more warm, I also added this jacket from Zara. And I mean, how perfect does it look with this bag from uh, Gucci? And then last but not least, again, I added my rose gold Alexander Wang booties. last pair of jeans I wanted to style this uh, dark blue jean because I thought okay let's switch it up with the color and it's also a skinny jean however it has really really frayed uh, hems I styled it with this black turtleneck from Brandy Melville that's super soft to make the look a little bit more tough I added this jacket from Zara this is a shirling jacket from Zara and it's so lovely it's super warm super soft Definitely the warmest jacket that I own. For shoes, I added these killer booties from River Island again. And to finish off the look, I added this cute little bag from Alexander Wang that I got in the sale in Galerie Lafayette during my Paris trip. If you're wondering, I vlogged the whole trip. So I'll put a link down below. It's definitely my coolest vlog ever, I would say. So yeah, don't forget to check it out. I'm showing you that bag there as well.
related, law related, and yeah, I don't have anything else to say, have a fucking amazing day, and I'll talk to you later, bye guys. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well, and welcome to a new video of mine. Today I'm going to make another how to style video. Today I'm going to talk about faux fur coats. Personally, I love...